He started dancing in the late 1940s with a group called the Rug Cutters. Arthur Duncan's moves took him around the world and back to America, where he became a star on the Lawrence Welk Show. OETA produced the Lawrence Welk Show for national audiences, so when the tap dancing legend came to town, we had to catch up with him. Five, six, seven, eight. Tap students at the University of Central Oklahoma are getting a rare treat on this day. Instruction from a tap dancing legend. Arthur Duncan has been a showman for more than half a century and is best known for his run on the Lawrence Welk Show. He went on television in 1955 and I joined him, uh, did the first show around the oh, 66. Lawrence had a uniqueness about him where he, he knew his public, but he was one of the smartest men I had I'd ever met. He, he, he knew what he wanted and then he served it up. Today, well into a new century, this dancer hasn't slowed his step a bit. The Lawrence Welk Show may be a thing of the past, but not Arthur Duncan. As he did before Welk, Duncan still travels the world to perform. Oklahoma City was his latest stop after doing shows in Sydney, Australia, Bali, and Los Angeles. This international showman has a passion to teach the next generation of entertainers as well. He worries they won't find the opportunities oh, to season coming. their acts that he has. Let's do it again, all right? Here we go. When I came along, they had a lot of amateur shows, and you could go around do amateur shows and have an opportunity to uh, practice or, or, or hone your, 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 uh, your talents, if you had any, or develop by, by doing these shows. You could go to restaurants or go to a nightclub, and you'd see a, a, a full show with dancing girls, a comic, a singer, and, and uh, specialty acts. Well, you don't get that anymore. To young people that are uh, determined to go into show business, learn everything you possibly can, be open, learn to sing, dance, act, and be very flexible. And you must have a passion for it. In the word, tenacity. If you look up tenacity in the dictionary, we're pretty sure you'll find a picture of Arthur Duncan. Everything moves along, especially in show business. Out of sight, out of mind, so you got to be constantly working on what you do. I'd love to do it again. Five, one, two, four, five, one, two.